Hey y'all, Decamon here, and welcome back to Alan Wake 2. Last time, Alan finished the subway section with a lovely, lovely occurrence by the Dark Presence. And we have found our way back here to the present, because it seems very much like Alan's story is in the past, whereas Sagas is in the present. And more importantly, I can swap between them as I wish by looking at this mop and this puddle of goo and basically diving into the dark place and doing Alan's story in the past. Alan, what's going on about these pages? pages? In the dark place. So why are we finding them here? I think I wrote them up. I remember writing an endless amount of pages. But when this happened before, the, the pages were being sent from the dark place to help me. Maybe the same thing is happening here. That's all for now, Mr. Wake. Hmm. Thank you for your cooperation. And thank you for another clue. Which apparently does not go in here. Oh, nursery rhymes. Really? Why are these suddenly uh, marked as things I haven't put on? I'm pretty sure I put these on at some point. I definitely put these on. So... Go figure. I don't know why these suddenly need reattaching. Hmm. All right. Uh, the story it still says for later. Cult of the tree. He remembers writing pages in the dark place. Interesting. Huh. Weird. Very weird. Anyway, our goal currently as Saga is to head to Watery. Where Watery is, is... I guess another map. Just a straight up another map. What is this map for? Well, 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 I suppose. And if Scratch is after you, then so is the cult. We don't know who we can trust here. Damn it, you are making a mistake. Mm-hmm, I'll be sure to add that to the list. <laughs> Hi, welcome. Were you here before, Mr. Bartender? Past favorite Deerfest Woods. Go. The yarn puppet monstrosity. Uh, stuffed moose and squirrels one. Yeah. No, thank you. Hello, and welcome to Coffee, Coffee World. Today. What in the heck? Coffee World now? Hello, and welcome to Coffee World, voted Washington's best coffee-themed amusement park. All of our attractions are family-friendly and available to children of all ages. Just like our coffee. <laughs> Just like our coffee. So, take a sip of our Oh Dear Diner organic coffee and let the adventure begin. Let the drug trip commence. Hold on for dear life on the Espresso Express. Oh my god, that thing looks like it's put together by duct tape. Soak in some local history at the Huatari Well, where two serial killers once hid the disemboweled bodies of their murder victims. Uh, it's not haunted. I thought this was all ages, man. Come join Mocha Moose and the goats at our amusement park pig. Just Oof. don't share your coffee with the goats. <laughs> Seriously, stop feeding our goats coffee. Seriously. It's very <laughs> amusing. <laughs> Take in amazing views from the slow roaster Ferris wheel. I can almost see the watery lighthouse trailer park. He is definitely not drinking coffee. This is so much fun. He is definitely not drinking coffee. And finish off at our beautiful gift Spend shop. Spend money at the gift shop. Children under 10 receive a 9% discount on keychains and propane tanks. Welcome to Coffee World. We guarantee you'll jaw a great time. Ugh. That was terrible. That was terrible. You should feel so bad. Oh my god. This is the third time I've requested something be done about the TV in my room. It keeps going on by itself. 
It's keeping me awake all night. Then unplug it. Sir, I'm terribly sorry for that. I like, I don't know what your problem is. If it's turning on, then unplug the damn thing. Unplugging the TV for the night? Hmm? Oh, oh, there's an idea, Einstein. What, why, why, why don't I just get rid of everything I'm paying for in that room while I'm at it? Sleep on the floor. Go to the toilet in the corner. Hey, I'm not unplugging it. You're fixing it. He's an idiot. He's just an idiot then. Like, if my TV was turning on unexpectedly at night, I'd unplug the damn thing. All right, let's go to Waterly. I don't know where Waterly is, so... I will take a random cutscene to drive there. I am a little surprised she's not taking Alan, but I understand Casey. Yeah, Anderson, I didn't want to say this in front of Wake, but... Are you sure this is a good idea? Going on your own? Assuming we believe the page, I need to check this out. We need to find the cult. Anyone we meet here could be a member. And this scratch guy. The evil doppelganger? It must be true. Or else this guy can't write for shit. <laughs> the quality of his writing aside, if this page turns out to be true like the rest have, this could be a breakthrough. We might solve this thing before a backup even arrives. Yeah, but they're taking their time, so just be careful out there. I imagine that they're being delayed purposefully. Maybe I can shake something loose. Okay. But remember what happened with the salt shaker. <laughs> yeah, yeah, real funny. Oh my goodness. This the place, like it's. Place me in a trailer, somewhere in Watery. Doesn't mean much. I should ask around. This place looks like it's already uh, local girl. I, know, I keep trying to say this place already looks like it's halfway into the dark place. And me without a map. <laughs> well, might as well wander about. What did you used to say your dream job was as a kid? I bet it wasn't dock worker. I don't know about all that, but idle hands are the devil's playground. So, well, us fishing types. What do we got? You all. Missing dog? Oh, uh, that's kind of sad. Hmm. Hello. Something is even worse here. More like underwatery. I'll have to tell Casey that one later. Please don't. That was terrible. Oh. Random radio song. Oh. Okay then. Catchy tune. What is this? Some sort of memorial wall? Uh, what is this? Is this Watery's own Nessie? An anonymous source sent this photograph to our editors came in and was captured during the last full moon. A majestic piece hidden in the depths of the water, or an elaborate prank? A sea creature that defies the very laws of nature, or a submarine relic from the Cold War era? A lonely wanderer searching for companionship and compassion, or a fearsome monster out for blood? These questions, among others, haunt our editorial team here at the Bright Falls Record after one of our avid readers sent in the mysterious photograph as evidence of an unidentified creature roaming Watery's waters and making a rare but opportune appearance. This titillating spotting might just be the event of the year. As we dive deeper into this mystery, we here at the Bright Falls Record invite all our readers to a naming competition. What should we call our local beastie? Watery Wanda? Shelly the Sea Monster? Send in your questions now. It's going to be Nessie McNessie face. It's going to be. You know that. The internet will not allow it to be anything else. <laughs> More updates and revelations to follow as the story unfolds. What do we got over here? Welcome to Coffee World. One of a kind of music park opens in Watery. I'm sure all of our readers know Ilmo Koeska, who, with the help of his brother Jocko, has been making our small town of Watery a bustling hub with his various business ventures. The latest of these, Coffee World, had its grand opening just around the corner. I had the chance to ask Ilmo a few questions about Coffee World. Ilmo, what is Coffee World about? I'm glad you asked. Coffee World is the world's greatest coffee-themed amusement park for all ages, and right here in our hometown of Watery. It's got all the rides, thrills, and excitement you could ask for, and of course lots of delicious fresh coffee, both hot and iced. Put that in. How did this unique business idea come about? 
Well, as you know, I'm all about ideas. An idealist, you could say. But what's even more important to me than many successful businessmen is our hometown. With my help, we can revitalize Watery, build its economy back up, bring the tourists back in, and enjoy ourselves in the process too. Coffee World is just as much for the townspeople as it is for the out-of-towners. What attractions should the visitors be sure not to miss? Oh, that's like having to choose a favorite child. It's impossible. But the slow roaster is, of course, a wonderful ride full of mystery and magic. And the Espresso Express is sure to give you a thrill. Also, don't forget to drop by the Freshpot gift shop on your way out. You never know what treasures you might find. A coffee, at least, I bet. Oh, yes, definitely. Okay. Hello there, old madam. Excuse me. Do you know where Hush. Hush. in the middle of a show? Wait. I wonder if I'm the first FBI agent to ever get shushed. Oh my god, I did not realize that was Ati doing the singing. And Rose? The lady from the frickin' diner? I can't. <laughs> uh, Adi, my man. Adi's got some pipes all of a sudden. Oh. Interesting. Oh, hey, I can also store stuff. Hmm. I don't really need most of this. Ooh, we are actually a little laggy. What is this? Another coffee mug charm. Bunch of painkillers, some first aid kit, and a rocket flare. You know what? I'm going to put this on then just because. Filling the shape. If I really have, like, an extra one in the bank... I can save that for a time when I really need it. Hey, more bullets. Those are definitely needed. Okay. Oh. A map. Uh, oh. Coffee World. I see. So that's what most of this area is going to be is Coffee World. What's this? Conversation, new choices, point of interest, point of interest, break room, janitor's bucket, shoebox. Okay. I missed something in here. So there's two points of interest, or is that just the two that, or that's just these? I think that's just those. All right. So there's someone around here with an actual Hello. conversation. Hello. have a second? Ah, long time and no see, Miss Anderson. Tor and Odin are not here. They are uh, old tricksters always sneaking off. Sorry, no, I, I wanted to ask you about something else. Uh, okay. Are you from Do right you here? Live around here? I live in Bright Falls. You have seen me around. I am Mr. Blum. You call me Vladimir. I work at the nursing home. I take care of your old people. We are on day trip, music, sauna, the good times. I bring them here in the bus. The elderly are very important. And it's a very nice bus. Thanks. Why do so many people in Bright Falls act like they know Saga? Can you point me to any trailers around here? Sure. Watery Lighthouse Trailer Park. Hmm. Ilmo Koskela owns it. Of course he does. He owns many things in town. And where is Ilmo? I saw Ilmo and his brother at the bridge. Well, what used to be the bridge. Used to be? What's this used to be you mean, huh? What do you mean by used to be, sir? It still says for later. And again, these are marked as new. I, I don't get it. Why these keep getting... Marked is new when they're clearly not. There's a trailer park nearby. All right, there's our trailer. A trailer park is a good place to look for a trailer. Keep it simple, Saga. And I should go bug Ilmo and see what he knows. I need to find Ilmo Cascella. Watery Lighthouse Trailer Park. Today, call. A trailer park. Ilmo Koskela. Mom's family was from Sweden. I've always imagined it kind of like this. What the heck? Saunas, lakes. Seems nice. Hello. Enjoying the sauna? You bet. The steam is amazing on my creaky old joints. 
Yeah, I'm just waiting for Ati to wrap up his show so we can crack open some beers. I've read that taking a sauna is good for preventing dementia. <laughs> Too late for this one. Beer. Ever heard of the cult of the tree? The half deer, half man monsters? Oh, sure, I've heard of them. Mm. They're the reason I can't risk taking walks in the forest anymore. If one of them shows up, how am I supposed to get away? I can't run with a bad hip. I'd be killed for sure. And I could maybe use my crutches to defend myself. Do you think that'd work? No. You're the professional. Probably smart just to stay in the sauna for now. I'm gonna sit here and say, like, this is a weird looking sauna. Hey, Sarah. A sauna doesn't fix what ails ya. You're a goner. They also say silence is golden. This place just got straight flooded. Guessing why that's why the bridge be out. Hello. Thank you. Never let it be said, I will say not Nazi no to free shit. Like that. Whew. Hot. It is a sauna, Saga. The why there's no one in here actually enjoying it is beyond me. Guess everyone here overheated and needed some time to air out. Hmm. Sit over by the bridge. Ah, there's the brothers. Hey, Saga! Over here! Again, they all know her. Hey, Ilmo. How did your walk in the woods with Steven go? Another satisfied customer. Oh, well, no, these I two actually met. Remembers to write a good review on the web page. Great to see you back in Watery Saga. Everyone in town missed you. Oh. Super nice to see you again. Or maybe she's from here. They act like they've known me for years. Oh. This keeps happening. Oh. That's interesting. Also, I can clearly see the carnival rides running in the background. Are you familiar with the cult of the tree? Yeah, we always thought it was an urban legend. Kids drawing creepy symbols to scare each other, but uh, now it's gotten pretty damn real, huh? Mm -hmm. It's terrible what happened. We're all in shock. Well, we're looking into it, hoping to get things back to normal soon. We're all for that. <laughs> as normal as it ever gets around here. Huh. Wonder why you say that. You're on the trailer park, right? Mind if I take a look inside? Uh, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure the owner of the watery lighthouse trailer park, me, can help you with that. It's good to have our funniest resident back. Resident? I don't understand what you mean. If this is your way of getting out of any outstanding bills, don't worry. They've been handled. Hmm. Must be hard coming back to where you and your little girl lived. It's like they remember a different reality. Mm-hmm. Is the horror story messing with their memories? Or yours. Coffee world? Hello. Got something interesting going on here. Fact versus fiction. Wakes says the story will change reality around us. If that's true, then I need to know what's real and what's fiction. Which parts are false? Which, if any, are real? Interesting. Ilmo owned the trailer park where I supposedly lived. Calls me his funniest resident. My life in watery? Rose recognized me at the diner in Bright Falls since I moved away after Logan died. Odd, odd, odd. Got a profile, huh? Ilmo thinks the cult is just an urban legend. Or does he? There are things that go bump in the night. It's all true. It's all true. Sound the alarm, brother. Gather the troops, brother. Oh, the shit. Alcohol. The shadow of the forest is creeping closer. They know, and they might be part of the cult. It's not a legend at all. They understand it's dangerous. Hmm. Ilmo made it sound like I lived here. Does he really believe that? Light's laughter and love will guide you home. 
Zaga and her daughter. Oh boy. Happy faces raise property value. Family comes first, Ilma. We take care of her trailer while she's gone. She's one of us, Yako. Her spear key is safe and sound. The Koskala brothers have happy memories of me living here. This must be the story affecting them. I'll play along for now. I need the key to that trailer. Huh. I don't know. Part of me is still wondering if the story is affecting her more than it's affecting them. The Trail of the Cult. Ilmo is certain that I used to live here, that I am a member of his community. Profile someone. Another profiler. Do I have any more profiles? Doesn't look like it. Looks like everyone's pretty well covered. Hm. So what is Coffee World? You mean you haven't seen our commercial for it? Oh, I have. Coffee World is a smooth blend of rides, food, and fun. We even had a real moose until recently. Mm. Plus, right next to Coffee World is the workshop of our own Kalevala Knights Motorcycle Club. We're busy building the uh, floats for Deerfest. Don't go peeking, though. <laughs> you know, we're saving the big reveal for Deerfest. Yeah, sure. Not your commercials. So... Your commercials. They're kind of shady. They're more than commercials, Saga. Our goal is to both entertain and educate local viewers about the fine products and services we provide. And, uh, Yako here really comes alive in front of the camera. Really. Fuck off. <laughs> I'm just there for the free beer. Not sure what Ilmo's excuse is. Hey, I'm writer, producer, co-lead, director. Do yourself a favor and uh, check them all out. Well, I've seen half of them, apparently. All joking aside, yes, I would like to see my trailer. Do you have a spare set of keys? Good for you. Yeah, I have a spare set. They're just over at Coffee World. I'll get them for you, but Yaku and I have to head to Bright Falls. The spare keys are in the gift shop safe. I'll huh? call ahead and uh, have someone get them out for you. Oh, the road's flooded, but if you just follow this trail behind me, it'll lead you there. Hmm. All right, get the trailer key at Coffee World gift shop. Yep. Got a new deduction, huh? This didn't come from profiling anyone. I still think I lived in the trailer park with Logan. The story really is changing people's memories. Why aren't mine affected? Good question, good question. All right. These are all big hours, The spare yeah. key is a coffee world. First the witches at the diner. Now the Cascalas. They all think Logan and I... Ah, there's the trailer park. We said the horror story would make people crazy. Like they're being brainwashed to believe the story. Is it spreading? There's coffee world. Need to get across the river. And there's a game save, which uh, leads me to believe I am officially headed back into the shit. And a spare map if I hadn't found one yet. Please tell me those are shotgun bullets. Thank you. Hmm. Checking map, keeping my eyes open for any traversable areas here. What was that? Get that flashlight out, girl. We're gonna need it. I'm hearing taking wolves again. Fuck. Whoa! He's speedy! Like, damn speedy! Are there any... There's nothing over here. Okay. Pinning his ass down, not gonna be fun. Shit. 
shit. That was not fun. Two of them? most likely. Also, I just realized, does she have more health than Alan? Hmm. I think she does. Okay, there's definitely something down this path here, right? Just a can? What in the net? There's a rhyme over here. And a deer doll. Alright, how do I need to solve this one? The gentle beast with a beautiful crown runs through the woods with a worried frown. From the hunter he flees between the mighty trees to make it out alive. Okay. Got a deer doll. That's not right. Nah. No. Doesn't make sense. Nope. Hmm. I think I need this hunter doll as well. Ah, yep, there he is. Moose doll. Okay. Oh. That changed something. Okay. Stupid question, but what changed? I'm not seeing anything that's changed, and it's kind of bugging me. Well, it crossed it off as a, a rhyme, apparently. gave me anything. I didn't see anything change. OK. 
can't interact with it no more. All I see is that, a little bit of darkness over here. I don't know. Uh, this is probably going to be one of those dumbass moments where I see it when I'm editing and I have no idea what it is right now. Because clearly I'm missing something. Hmm. Oh well. It's probably just another charm. Were you always here, Sir Moose? Oh, Damn. I don't think he Another was. Charm. Good thing Logan made me this bracelet. I think that's actually what changed right there. I don't think that moose was there originally. All right. So there's a bunch of this way over here that we can go exploring. Oh, more cult shit. Like I need to find a way up there. Will this loop around? Yes, it will. Thank you. The cult is leaving supplies around for themselves. Yep, and I'm happily stealing it. Okay. You, you, voila. What in the heck? What is this again? Oh, propane tanks. I was like, there's no way in hell I have that much shotgun ammo. <laughs> Okay, that takes care of that little looper doop. Big open space off here, including what looked like a couple buildings. Yep, a couple buildings. I would not be surprised to run into a cultist or two over here. Hunting shack, watery. All the numbers everywhere. Another locked box. Wonder what's inside. I should take a look around for a way to open this thing. Hey, if you take the crossbow out, put it back in the stash when you're done. P.S. I changed the code as asked. I don't suppose the code's indicated anywhere around here. I'm sure it is. Oh, I. He said crossbow. Right? Oh, I think I see it, actually. Five. It's got one arrow. Two has two arrows. And seven has three. So let's try five, two, seven. And see if I'm not as crazy as I think I am. Five, two, seven. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Oh, if you aren't wearing the mask, this does not belong to you. Well, fudge you. It's mine now. Greatest hits. Find the crossbow. Hmm. Silent hunting weapon, low recoil, bolts lodge into targets and deal high damage. Well, let's put that actually, let's put that up here. Oh, Saga, you are becoming an arsenal. Jen? Oh, missed. Try again. Ooh, man, I thought I was early for that one. There we go. I like the way we start the gens now. That's new and it's cute. And I think this makes a save room. It does indeed. Hey, a shoebox. I can store stuff like you. Oh, wow. The shoebox is laggy. That I would not have called. 
Hmm. Save that extra life charm. Manuscript page. What do we got here? Saga in the watery woods. Saga was beginning to see why Casey disliked the woods so much. They felt oppressive here. Too many places to hide. The distorted carnival music drifting from the amusement park ahead did not help. <laughs> what the Coscalus had said about her living in watery with Logan unsettled her. For the horror story to involve her was one thing, but involving her daughter was crossing the line. Mm -hmm. Something darted across the path ahead. Too fast to see. Saga drew a weapon. Her eyes searched the woods. A noise overhead. Saga swiveled to look. A local. A man on the ridge above her. No, not a man. A monster with a hatchet in each hand. It shouted down at her. Hunting season was a bust. Oof. I'm starting to wonder if this is actually Scratch's writing. Just because it feels like he's... It's more sinister than I think Alan would write for this sort of situation. I mean, you'd think he'd write something happy. What the shit is that? Huh. Hmm. Oh, those are actual pickup arrows. Well, don't mind if I freaking do. That's just so handy. I suddenly have a bunch of arrows in my inventory. The only question is, am I gonna find a time where I can stealth one of these bastards? Ask and you shall freaking receive, right? Not bad. Also, interestingly, I didn't have to break the darkness on him in order to hurt him. That's new. Used to be a thing where uh, if they were in darkness, they were invulnerable. Now? Now that rule doesn't seem to apply as much. Radio tower. Radio tower seems like it might be handy, and that's a safe haven. Oh. New radio thing. This one needs. What do we got? Three little deers ventured to Rome and found a nice place to eat and play. One little deer never came home, and two deers cried all day. Right. So I bring the deer home. Now. Did that change? Fuck. One of those dog things. You 
Are there two of them? Shit, there are. That's not good. That one's got an arrow up his ass. That one's down. Where's your buddy at? Whew. Not bad. Not bad, Saga. Not bad, what? Oh, no, I think I lost that arrow. Oh, there's our deer. A charm. And this one increases resilience against being staggered or interrupted. That's not terrible. Oh, that's what's giving me more health. Uh, let me swap this one. There. So that's what it revealed was that dead deer. Okay. I swear these Another things one of those lunch boxes. mean something. They do, yeah. What do we got here? I lowered my rifle. Standing on the car's roof, I looked out at the carnage. The zombies had almost won, but luckily I was here. Heroes are sometimes the people we least expect them to be. Now my town was finally safe, thanks to me. I slung the hot piece of iron over my shoulder one more time, hopefully for the last time. The townspeople, cautiously emerging from their hiding places, surveyed the same carnage I saw and cheered my name and waved, and they cheered again. Now I could finally get back to my quiet, unassuming life, reading books and gardening and fiber crafts and being the world's top mycology expert. Wow! Someone is a little full of themselves! Suddenly a hand seized my wrist. I looked into the eyes of the sweet, sensitive writer I had known since childhood. A smile spread across his beautiful, kind face, and I felt at peace for the first time since the zombies had first emerged. You did it! I knew you could! Now we can live in peace together for the rest of our days! This is clearly bad fan fiction! And those are clearly some manuscript fragments I could piece together. Hmm. This was definitely a worthwhile little detour up here at the radio tower. But detour is all it was. Let's get back on my pistol for a wee bit. That's got the most ammo. Hopefully no more wolves for a wee bit. I'm not a big fan of the wolves because I can't really stun them all that much. All right, uh, this should be the branch, right? Yep. Follow this down this way towards the big red angry glow that I'm sure is not sinister at all. No siree. That's not anything bad, is it? <laughs> all that for such a little jump. Uh, this opens up a little bit, but not much. Oh, it's some kind of buoy. I thought that was a person. I legit thought that was a person over there. Nothing? Ooh. The Ferris wheel looks like it's been... Oh dear. I see darkness. I see darkness. And I see those little stacked stones, so there must be a lunchbox nearby. Right? 
seriously what those stacked stones mean. Another Alex Casey lunchbox? Yep. Hi, Hero. I think a few pieces of paper for my private fanfiction project got mixed into some of these stashes, but I don't know which ones. I posted some online, and they're getting pretty good reviews, but I'd appreciate it if you didn't read them. It's a privacy thing. Sweet. Uh, does that actually give me enough fragments to do anything interesting with... Hold on. New rhyme. And... Cult stashes. We gotta drop that off here. Two for watery. Because I guess the crossbow one also counts. Then the nursery... Or there's the cat. There's the Alex Casey lunchboxes. Four more of these, eh? Uh, manuscript weapon upgrades. Here we are. Now I can upgrade the crossbow, too. <laughs> Hold the fire button to draw the crossbow string further for increased damage in a straighter arc. Fire two bolts before needing to reload. Bullets lodged into enemies will attract bullets fired near them. That's cute, but I think I like this, the heavy shot. Saga strained to pull the string of the crossbow back as far as she could. To her surprise, the latch adjusted to accommodate her. The next bolt would stop a monster. <laughs> heavy shot seems pretty good. Let's make those bolts count. Hmm. Check map. This is not the darkness. The darkness is the water. That's no good. Maybe that's what that shaded in part is. It's the flooded areas. No, that doesn't make sense. We had darkness earlier and... Music sounds a little effed up to me. Does it sound a little effed up to anyone else? Also, why is it even running if the place is closed right now? Seriously, dumbasses. Uh, I went the wrong way. I want to go into the dark zone. Though I suppose there's every likelihood that I can't because it's blocked by flooded water. Okay. Fair enough. That's clearly come back later. Or find some way to unflood the place like I did with Cauldron Lake. That's always a possibility, too. Safer? Looks like a safe room. That's a bad sound. Coffee World! We made it! Sort of. Oh, that is definitely bad sounds. That is definitely bad sounds. Hello, manuscript page. Mine. What do you got for me? Scratch on the hunt. Scratch stalked through the forest. A terrifying dark presence in the night, more sensed than seen. Darkness boiled in his skull, like a storm cloud crammed into a bottle. Hmm. The woods were alive with those he had taken. They were coming with him, directed by him, his army of darkness. His singular purpose was a sharp, pulsing black hole in his head, waves roaring out of it to whip his flock into a frenzy, filling them with his purpose. The clicker, he wanted it, to make his horrific ending to the story come true. The art was there. The clicker would push it across the final threshold, a detonator to send out a tidal wave that would spread to overtake reality. He was so close to claiming it. Oh. The Taken gibbered and shouted, straining against their invisible leashes, filled with bloodlust. Scratch let them go. They launched themselves into the night with violent glee. He ripped a signpost from the ground, swung it in his hands as if it was made of air. Ahead, the music started. It called him on. Let the final deer fence commence. Oh, shit. That's pretty freaking ominous there, my man. Like, 
seriously freaking ominous. Meanwhile, there's a bathroom over here that needs searching. And I found nothing. Uh, container. Oh, there's something in the room to actually search, isn't there? Shoot. I almost missed that. Ah, there it is. There was something in here to loot. Bullets. Bullets are good. Especially considering that I'm probably going to be needing Hello? them in the next couple minutes. Anyone here? Nope. Did they get out? Nope. They got taken. Did they take and get them? Or were they turned into Taken? I'll need to get the key to the trailer park myself. Ilmo said the key is kept in the gift shop safe. Joy, which means I'm going to need to figure out the code for the gift shop safe, I'm sure. Also could use another inventory expansion, I'm not going to lie. The third weapon takes up a lot of space. What does this say? Oh, park rules. Oh. Locked. Need something to jimmy it open with. A list of maintenance work. Ah, that should be useful. A screwdriver. Huh. Hey, the lock is jammed again. I forced it last time with the screwdriver, which has disappeared again. Push it back when you use it. <laughs> Logged maintenance, 62723. Coffee World entrance sign defaced. Cleaned with detergent, wax sign. Should be good until someone tags it again tomorrow. 715. Slow roaster pot is stuck, won't swing. I hit it with some WD-40. Seems good for now. Uh, 719. Fallen tree near Latte Lagoon. Should probably go the tree guy? Chainsawed and removed, keeping the wood. <laughs> Several burned out bulbs on percolator. Replaced and ordered more bulbs. Huh? Squeaking on Latte Lagoon, Car B. Tighten the bolts, less bad now. Percolator control panel jammed. Removed front with screwdriver. Found a penny in there. Ah. So that's over by the percolator, you say. The story. Got something new for the story? Yes, we do. The clicker. Uh, do, 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 do. there it is, the clicker. You want to talk to someone now, huh? The Trail of the Cult. Coffee World. Coffee World. The most caffeinated place on Earth. And yet nobody's here to help me get that key. Nope. Trailer Park Key. Well, clearly I need to go find myself. <laughs> A lovely place for that. Gift shop door is locked. Getting inside the gift shop. Well, that's where the uh, screwdriver comes in handy. I've also seen a couple places around town I could use that. There. Using screwdrivers to break into gift shops isn't exactly standard procedure. Well, I could just shoot the lock. That would work too. But you won't let me do that, will you? So where is the percolator? It is over here. Also looks like there's a little divot. Over here? Yeah. Oh, looks like it's heading to a... Yes. Cold stash. Only striped cups. Ah, uh, I see they're numbered. And the... Alright, so four. Seven. Okay. Come on. Where's my other striped cup? Got four and seven so far. Ten. 
11, 12, 1. So 147 or 741. One of those is it. So let's try 147. It was 147. Perfect. Do not take what is not yours. Well, you guys are cultists, so I'm not listening to you. You are literally the last people I should be taking advice from. We're sorry this toilet is temporarily out of order. I took a shit in it a week ago. Is this say underneath? What the fuck? All the toilets are out of order. Get your shit together. <laughs> bad joke, bad joke. Well, that was a lovely, lovely little distraction. Anything over here to further distract me? No? All right, back to the main path. The fact that that thing is still going. The percolator. Well, that's fine. It's the way we want to go right now. You know, until something else forces me to go down a different path. There's light over there. All right, that was the slow roaster. Okay. And that's just the main park area. This way should go around the main park and to the percolator. Supposedly. Balloon pop. I popped them. Did I get a prize? Hmm? I feel like I was denied a prize. Break a row to win, huh? God. The mascots around here are freaking creepy, my man. Seriously. Jesus! Oh, God. Calm down, Saga. It's just a pot of coffee. Have a beautiful day. That's mean, guys. I feel like I should just kick that thing. God, what is with the sinister laugh? Like, beyond sinister laugh, my man. Three tries, five fallen cans, one prize. I wonder. Huh. They do move. Oh, interestingly, that didn't actually do anything. What's this? Latte Lagoon. Another spot that's flooded. Yeah, we can't go in here until this place gets unflooded. I'm gonna have to go buy the freaking cackling thing again. None. That's not concerning. Hey. Hi. And dead. Son of a bitch. Uh, I'm gonna have to go through all that exploration again, aren't I? 
Or are you gonna start me right in front of this thing? Which would be nice, which I think that's exactly what it did. Okay then. God, I could not dodge that if I wanted to. Oh, in one go, baby. That's mine. We good? Everybody happy? Everybody dead? Awesome! Now, where's my frickin' screwdriver? Huh? Ah, here you go. This should get that gift shop open. Should get a lot of things open. Find the screwdriver, because apparently there's only one screwdriver in the entire town. Like, seriously. I'm just not gonna go that way. I don't wanna deal with creepy. Where have you been all my life? <laughs> oh. Here they come. That works surprisingly well. I know I saw another one. Is there a throw there, or did she just, like... That one's down. Oh, you want to get up close and personal, sir? It doesn't end well for you. He left his pipe. Now keep moving. That man straight up lost his weapon in that shot. All right, let's get back to the gift shop. I'll be able to continue exploration once we clear this section out. Any more? No? Good. All right, screwdriver. It's better not be single use. No? Good. Still think I could have just shot it open. Now, where is that safe? Better question, where's that safe combo? Because clearly you're not going to write the safe combo on the safe. Too damn easy. There's the safe. Anything in here? Hey, that's a notebook. Uh, hey, God. Hey, Omo, heads up. Got another angry voicemail from a parent about her kid poking himself in the eye with one of the souvenir Pukos. Whose grand idea was it to sell kids plastic knives in a coffee-themed amusement park anyway? Oh, right. It was yours. <laughs> uh, Jeff, I need another moose favor. Mocha was doing just fine. Even got a glowing vet report. And then, bam! They say it was a heart attack. I'm not blaming you. Maybe you just had a bad ticker. No tolerance for stimulants, either. We're telling the kids that Mocha's taking a little vacation, but I could really use your help ASAP to maintain continuity. Do you have any more in stock? <laughs> in stock? What do you think this is? What do you think he has a moose store somewhere? Locked. Of course it is. Okay. Uh, what Ilmo use for a code? Why did you change the damn password at the safe again? I thought it was Lookout Fixer Supplier. Who hurt you? Why are you so paranoid? Uh, calm down. This one's easy. Tracker Lookout Cleaner. See? Not rocket science. The heck is Tracker Lookout Cleaner mean? 
All right. Uh, there we are. Safe combo. Don't think a screwdriver will work on this one now. Need to find the other pieces. Okay. Tracker, lookout, and cleaner. I don't suppose any of those Coffee are. World staff. Oh. Hope they're not all monsters now. Oh, it's right here. I, 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 I get the gag here. Okay, let's read these out first. Okay, Susan lost and found. Stuart maintenance. Thomas the ride operator. Jonas security. Nina the gift shop. Victor the janitor. Lucy the caregiver. Robin the park walk around. And Anna concessions. News of the week. Remember to bring your liability forms for Tuesdays. Bring your dog to Coffee World Day. Oof. The photos have stickers on them. Yes, they do. Congratulations to Thomas for completing his first year at Coffee World. As usual, this work anniversary earns you a free packet of freshly ground coffee. The percolator is unfortunately undergoing maintenance, but don't worry, we will fix it as soon as possible. All right, let's stick these on here. Stickers indicate how many years employees have worked. A board listing staff members and their jobs. Profile someone, seriously? The safe. I need to open the safe. What's the combination? People hate the puzzle, Zuma. Why not just use keys? People love the puzzle, Zyako. Only very smart people can think up good puzzles. Well, this isn't a very smart puzzle. Just look around and you will find the answer. Dedicated staff will be rewarded. The combination to the safe is somewhere in the gift shop. Yeah, I could have told you that already. Come over here. I bet Ilmo is the kind of guy who likes Sudokus. <laughs> Tracker, lookout, cleaner. All right, so tracker, lookout, cleaner. Well, our boy uh, Victor here is the cleaner, and he's got six stickers. Uh, lookout is probably Robin, I would say, for two. And tracker... Tracker's probably Susan. So tracker, lookout cleaner so that would be one two six it is not one two six uh look out maybe a security security is four so one four six. There it is. It's one four six. The keys to my trailer. Now to find the clicker and the colt. Mm-hmm. Manuscript page? Was this here when I walked in? It was. I straight up missed it. Sorry, we're at a Bright Falls blend. Anna apologized to the customers. I'll just grab some from the back. More coffee coming right up. She suggested they ride the percolator while they waited. Huh. She passed Ilmo at the Espresso Express. Big smile, Anna. Coffee world is all smiles. Anna nodded, smiled. She smiled until her face hurt. Anna stopped walking, realized she was standing next to the Huatari well. Must have zoned out, she thought. She was about to go, but something in the well caught her eye. Mm -hmm. A shadow shifting in the dark. Anna was overcome by vertigo. The world tilted, and then she was falling down, down, down into the shaft. The darkness opened up to swallow her. Oh. Oh. Interesting. Me thinks I should go and check this well at some point. 
Uh, watery lighthouse, lighthouse trailer park. There are so many places I still have to go in this zone. It is going to be a long time. Let's get down here. What are we looking at here? The Espresso Express. I, I need to still explore this primary over here. I'm guessing there's stuff over here. See, I knew it. I knew there was stuff over here. Like a healing item that I could legit use one of right now. There. Or a safe haven that I could have used earlier when I was dealing with those taken. Thank you. Shack is not enterable. Interesting over there. What's this? Ah, Mocha the Moose. One morning during Coffee World's construction, a wounded moose was discovered taking shelter inside the Fresh Pot gift shop. Though limping from a leg injury, the wily moose proved too quick for wildlife rescue. After a long and unsuccessful chase, everyone stopped for a much needed coffee break, brewing up some of the Coffee World's finest. Before the first cup was poured, the moose appeared, drawn by the delicious aroma. He allowed himself to be treated in exchange for a steaming mug of what is now known as Mocha's Signature Blend. Since then, Mocha the Moose has become a beloved fixture of Coffee World, welcoming guests from across the country, as well as personally taste testing each of our roasts to give them the Mocha Seal of Approval. No wonder he died! A moosing Mocha Fax. Mocha's around six years old. Do you know moose can live up to 25 years? Mocha weighs 820 pounds. Did you know moose are the largest species of deer in the world? Mocha loves to swim. Did you know that moose can dive up to 20 feet underwater? Mocha's favorite drink is coffee. Did you know that Mocha is the only known moose with a caffeine addiction? You people wonder why he just keeled over suddenly. Like, I'm pretty sure moose cannot tolerate caffeine. When you ask, Marisetta will speak. Somebody was doing some campaigning around here, huh? That leads back to the gift shop, eh? Well, we're not going to the gift shop. I'm exploring. There's the well. From 1913, legends say this is the dwelling place of the evil water spirit, the Naki, who lures people to their watery graves. In the early days of water's history, this very well was where Ilamari Hutari hid the bodies of his victims with the help of his brother, Jacopi Hutari. It was only after Ilmari murdered his own brother that their gruesome acts came to light. But was it madness or the spirit of Naki possessing Ilmari that drove him to murder like he himself believed? Is there more to this well than meets the eye? I don't know. Can I look down it? Hmm. I half expected there to be something down there. I really did. There's a cult symbol here. Anything back this way? I'm guessing this is locked. Can't be opened on this side. Oh. Can't be opened on this side. Point of interest. What's the X then? Got one over there. Alright. It's a container right over here, huh? There is. I missed this. don't know if he's far enough away that he's going to be a problem. I also realized I completely missed the way I wanted to go. Which... 
according to the map, is down this way. Ish. Now this ride definitely does not look like it's in functioning order. The Expresso Express. God, this thing looks cheap. No power. Must be a fuse box around here somewhere. Am I really gonna turn this thing on? Should I turn this on? Why would I turn this on? There's gotta be a reason. We we don't just have an fuse is missing. Oh. Can't operate the ride without it. I need to find a fuse. Better question, again, why would I even want to? It's probably related to a cult stash, actually. Right? Is that the gag here? Do I, for some reason, need to start this to get a cult stash? That wheelbarrow just took a dive. It, it, it didn't get knocked over, it took a dive. Well, I wonder where I would find a fuse for the espresso machine. Okay. I guess the only really good way to go is south. Oops. I just dumped into this thing and knocked that over. Exit. Exits are good. Here we are. Thank goodness. We be out of there. All right, from here, the trailer park is down the road. This place just screams bad juju that's all i'm feeling from this is the bad juju the page said i'd run into a cultist here on your toes saga <laughs> safe space safe space thank goodness could definitely use a safe space and I think this is where I'm gonna call it for now. Woo! Coffee World is a little disturbing. <laughs> anyway, if you've enjoyed this, please leave a like and favorite and subscribe to join me for more terror in Bright Falls. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.